Sam was a river rat who dreamed of the sea. At night he heard the wind in the cottonwoods and thought of waves breaking on a faraway shore. By day he hummed sea shanties as he tended his garden or mended a fence. Better get hammering, old Mr. Barleybean said as he passed by one morning. Fence looks a little rickety. Sam smiled and nodded and whacked at a nail or two. But soon he was listening again to the river whispering his name. Mind those dandelions, Mrs. Seed Nibbler warned. They're running wild. Sam tugged at a handful of weeds, then turned again to stare away down the river, imagining to see where all rivers end. Not long after, Sam saw an ad in the Riverside Gazette. Build your own boat. Guaranteed seaworthy. Your boat will float or your money back. Sam scrimped and pinched and saved and sent away for the plans and at last the package came. Early next morning Sam was hammering away in his yard. His neighbours gathered to watch and whisper. Funny looking shed, said Mr. Barleybean. It's not a shed. Sam mumbled through a mouthful of wooden pegs. It's an ocean-going sailing boat. Sam, said Mrs. Seed Nibbler. This is a little river, a rowing boat and canoe river. Sam spat the pegs out into his paws. All rivers lead to the sea, he said. I have only to follow this one to its end to find my heart's desire. Why do you want to go to sea? demanded old Mr. Barleybean. It is in my blood, Sam said. My great, 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 great grandmother sailed on the Mayflower. Spring fever, more likely, Mrs. Seed Nibbler muttered. It will pass. As the days went by, Sam's boat took shape. He trimmed the keel, fitted the ribs, pegged on the planks, and laid the deck. One afternoon, old Mr. Barleybean stopped at Sam's gate. Must be better things to do with your time, he told Sam. Wash your windows. Trim your hedge, nail your house down so it won't blow away. I want to hear the winds filling my sail, Sam said as he pounded in another peg. Mrs. Seed Nibbler paused on her way to the shop. A rat was never meant to go to sea, she said. Rats should have their paws planted firmly on the ground. I want to feel the waves rolling under my paws, Sam told her as he cocked the seams between the planks. Spring became summer, and still Sam worked. By autumn, he was stitching canvas for sails. His neighbors started to worry in earnest. Don't do it, Sam, said old Mr. Barleybean. You'll be attacked by wild seaweed. You'll be swallowed by a shark, said Mrs. Seed Nibbler. The sea is calling me. Sam said, it sings to me in my dreams. Winter came and Sam could be seen through the falling snow, sanding the mast of his boat, his whiskers covered with sawdust and snowflakes. By spring the boat was ready. Sam named it the Rat's Paw and loaded it with supplies. His neighbours came to see him off. Mrs. Seed Nibbler gave him a muffler she had knitted. Old Mr. Barleybean gave him spare nails. The mast looks a little wobbly, he said. Sam thanked them all and hugged them goodbye. That's the last we'll see of Sam, they told each other. Although in their hearts, they hoped it wasn't true. Sam sailed on down the river and into the sea of his heart's desires. The waves sang under him, storms battered him, 
The winds pounded his boat. Whales spouted, dolphins leaped, and the salt spray matted his fur. At night he munched salt biscuits and cheese and watched the moon tilt in his sails. Days ran into weeks and weeks became months and Sam did not return. Weeds hit the windows of his house. His chimney leaned. His neighbors gave up watching the river for a sight of his mast flying its bright brave flag. Poor Sam, said old Mr. Barleybean, tangled up in wild seaweed. Poor Sam, said Mrs. Seed Nibbler, swallowed by a shark. One day, a passing seagull dropped a note near Sam's house. Dear friends, Sam's neighbors read, please do not worry, I am happy. Love, Sam. Far away out over the water, Sam smiled. He turned the rat's paw seawards and sailed on and on over the wild green waves. The end.